Okay, what I have is a Whirlpool Ultimate Care 2 washing machine. And what it was doing was this. During the uh, spin cycle, it would it would like shake. During the, um, it would also lean, the tub would lean just all the time. When filling, it would just lean to one side. Anyway, so what I did was replace the springs. Uh, two of these were bad. And also this is a counterbalance spring for the motor, replaced it. Now my tub is, you know, straight. It doesn't lean anymore. This right here is the lid switch. Years ago, it split its part. What I did was um, it still works, but the contacts are like the old points in cars. Replace the, you know, so they're all burnt. And also right here, you can see how burnt that is right there from the points making contacts. Replace this. Um, one getting hot water. So what it was, the solenoid is bad. The screens are clear. So solenoid was bad. Replace this. I've got hot water. Uh, water pump was still good. The coupling assembly, this is still good. The rubber, the only difference is the rubber is much firmer than the new one. So it's like, all right, whatever. This right here worked. I don't know. It came with the kit. I figure, you know what? It's over the years. Just replace it. Then that way it's done. Uh, this right here is the uh, clutch assembly. My clothes were still damp during the spin after the spin cycle. You can see how glazed it is. I probably could have just cleaned it and that would have been good enough. Um, but I replaced it. This is the um, timer. It's mechanical. You can see how it's made in there. Um, probably didn't need to replace it, but I figured, you know what, after all these years, the contacts, well, I'll just do it. Um, this right here is the neutral switch. What happened was um, the spring broke for this piece here, and so I replaced this, and now it works great. Now, the transmission, I cleaned it really good. The gear case, I should say. Some people say use jack oil. Some people say use 90 weight oil or 80, 90. Well, I use this in my Corvette. And what it does is it uh, has a very toxic smell to it. It's gear oil. I mean, <laughs> I use it in my Corvette. I'm not going to use it in my washing machine. This is like um, $12, say. This is Whirlpool, what I used. Um, yeah, there's a little bit left in there. And so I thought, you know what? This here was $36. So what's the difference with shipping and tax? So it's like um, $24 difference. I thought, you know, just get the correct oil. Then the machine is all Whirlpool. Um, the machine, I've used it. It doesn't shake like it used to. It's much quieter than it's been in years. And that's because of probably the new... Um, oil in it. Oil does break down. Even in your vehicles, it'll break down. So, and it was really dirty, contaminated oil um, from just wear and tear. So replaced it. Machine's really nice. I also replaced the hoses because one of mine had a crack in it. And I thought, just do it. Replace the valves. So those are all replaced. Um, so anyway, the machine works great. Well worth the time and effort. Cleaned everything inside and out. Um, and so it's basically like brand new and it works really well, as I said, much quieter than it's been in years. So anyway, there we go. It worked for me. If you have any of those problems, hope this was helpful.